Are you ready to van van our way out? Definitely. <laughs> Can I use it as a verb like that? Oh wait. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we're we going. Let's go. The rear box is kind of open. Just got to put this this boot over the top, I think. Wait. Oh yeah, like that. Yeah. Put a bit of tape on it. So good morning guys, we're here in the lovely village of Floor and a bit of an update on my lovely van van here. We've taken it out for a couple of uh, test rides since our big fix at Rob's place last week. So far, I haven't noticed any issues with this bike. We changed the whole throttle body for this bike. So we changed the fuel injection system, which is the fuel injector and fuel pump. And that also came with a fuel filter and the whole throttle body piece. We changed all of that because we diagnosed that my fuel injector was actually broken because we tested it in Lavi's bike. So we ordered a new one and it was super weird because when I took it for its first test ride, it seemed to not work. But now we think that maybe the fuel injector just hadn't been used in a long time. Maybe there was like old fuel in there or something. Since that test ride, Lavi rode the bike 30 miles back to our place. And then we've gone out twice since then. And I haven't noticed a single issue with the fuel delivery. We've still got our noise coming from the engine which we theorize now is piston slap due to possibly the piston having been changed previously i'm not really sure on the technical details but rob seems to think that the piston may have been changed but we've decided that if the bike is running fine which it seems to be running fine now and i can actually go forward without any issues then that is absolutely fine for us to continue and if we have a further issue with the piston and cylinder down the line then we can deal with it then so if the bike is working now as it is it might make a bit of a noise but that just makes it unique guys you know it's now time to get these bikes accessorized and ready for our next trip we are basically going to be crossing the uk on the trans euro trail or attempt you to cross the uk on the trans euro trail i should say that is a 3000 mile i think semi off-road farm tracks green lanes trail that incorporates the beautiful landscapes of england and that is the whole reason why we purchased these two suzuki van van rv 125s a few weeks ago so we need to get these bikes ready for that trip so we purchased a whole bunch of stuff for the bikes including hand guards engine guards we've got a new chain and sprocket for lavi's bike we've got new gear levers for both bikes because they're bent i've got a new set of handlebars which is going to raise them a bit higher plus we've been given an awesome set of new wing mirrors by a brand called double tape mirrors and i'm going to show you those later on so we are now riding back over to rob's place so that he can help us get these motorcycles accessorized and i can't wait to see how they look how do i look ready to fix some bikes. So we're going to start with Lavi's bike. What are you changing on your bike? <laughs> so I will change my spark plug by oil filter. Then I will put brand new oil in because I think it hasn't been changed in a long time. I have a new chain and sprocket to change. New mirrors, air filter, a cheaper version of Barkbusters. So we got them actually from eBay for like 16 pounds. And the cool thing is we will try to change my chain and sprocket now with my toolkit, which I have in the bike actually. So I'm super excited to see how that turns out. <laughs> Let's get started. You only have to use one of these because you've only got a side stand. Okay. And what you do with this uh -huh. is you adjust the length of it, depending on how how high the, the bike is. Okay. Yeah. And then you yeah. whiff it underneath this side. Right, oh, God, right like that. that. Right, now, now let it back down again. Yeah. There you go, there you go. Like that? Oh. I know your wheel is off the ground. That's brilliant. So we start now with the chain and sprockets. And first I have to identify what I have to do here. And Robert just said I have to take off this screw here and then this one as well. You will have to loosen it right off when you put your new chain on. So you okay. can't as well loosen it now anyway. So I'm just going to take off the mud guard at the back, just so we've got clearance to get the wheel out. So, press the brake down. Okay. 
press the brake so back. Oh, the spring will come out. Yes. And, the, and there's a little bit that goes across in there. Yes. Take that out so you don't lose it. Okay. Perfect. Okay, this one is off now. Right, stand up. Put your foot on it. Should I kick it? You can do it. Wait. Oh. I think you did it. Yay. Yeah. Okay, off. Okay, let me see if I can undo the the link. Um. So, oh, I got it. Oh, you got it? Yeah. <laughs> That's Yay! It. You're not wearing the gloves, you realise. Oh. No, don't wipe down your trousers. Ah, yeah. Off! Perfect. Oh. Let me see. Okay, go down. Is that high enough or are we alright? Let me see. Yeah, down. it is high enough. Okay, good. Yeah. It's not coming out. Ah, it's really bouncy. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Very tight. God, that's tight. Let's get something out of the workshop. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Eventually, it's coming. It's coming. Yep. Yeah. Coming out. Easy, yeah. Good. Down. Yeah, out. I have to go up now. Yeah. yeah that's it. Oh! <laughs> 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 Ta da! Flies on metal and they. Uh... Let's get the reel back on. Okay, the now. Inside. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, your hands. <laughs> 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 the wheel is back in. Was really successful. Is the wheel turning? Yes, nice. Cool, the new chain. Yeah, and it's golden. Whoa, look at that. Oh, wow, look how much, much gunk there is. Yeah, you can all over our floor. We don't <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Put it on the sprocket at the back. Yeah. Right yep. Yeah. It's in! That was like a, like a professional clunk right there. That did. Checker. That was a good clunk. Whee! That was a good clunk. Professional, clunk. professional clunk. clunk. So we successfully changed the chain and sprockets now, which I'm really, really happy about. Next job, cutting out the air filter. Is it air filter? <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Is that it? <laughs> Action fluid. <laughs> Genuine foam filter oil. Yes. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Air filter done. That's <laughs> 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 good. Okay, so what's next? Oil change. So I have to undo the bolt here underneath, um, but it's... Uh, <sighs> Come on, you can do it. Did you do it? Yeah? You got it? Yes! Nice! <laughs> Yay! I hope this was the right bolt. Those bits come out, then you got the wrong one. Oh, it comes out, those bits, you're right. Oh no, I don't know. Oh yeah. Oh! oh Yay! Yeah, look. look at that! Coming out of there, isn't it? Look yeah. Nice. So we've got ourselves as well a new oil filter, some Motul 10W40. Actually, we just bought a kit on eBay, which was like Suzuki Van Van service kit. And it came with like everything, including a spark plug, which I'm going to change now. Okay, next one is the oil filter. Oh no, eight is too small. <laughs> Can you pass me a 10, please? <clears throat> There's your new one. Thank you. I was like Formula One, yeah, but that one. <laughs> Oil filter done. Okay. What do you need? I think I need a 10. Oh. Thank you. Time to change the brake lever. 
because this one here is really nicely bent. It's really bent. <laughs> yeah, we should probably replace it. Yeah. So what is it? Just one bolt? That was the wrong one. <laughs> Let's say I get it 80%. Oh, that's so easy. Put some grease on it. Put some grease on it. Where's the oh, grease? Grease. Where's the grease? Where's the grease? Look at that. Shiny. Just like the other one. Ta-da! Brake lever. Done. Okay, so we've decided that Lavi's going to be moving her bike over to here and I'm going to bring my bike in so that we can get started on changing my handlebars. Hoya! So we've just got to loosen everything off. Looks like it's going to rain in a minute. Of course, I went the wrong way first time. Okay. So those two for the throttle. Yes. Shouldn't get confused, hopefully. It's loose. That's loose. I think everything's loose, Robert. A few moments later. The rain is here. So now we're trying to pack everything up. Coat, coat. Yeah. Seems good. And now we're gonna move it this way. Ah, our old stupidly low bars are out. Say hello to our new shiny chrome bars. You can't see that they're chrome, but they are chrome. Ah, ah, look at those. So we found out that actually the old bars had a little piece of plastic. It's a spacer and it has to go inside the bar. So Robert's gonna drill a hole in our bar. Oh, there Yay. you go. Second. Ah. Oh! Yes, is it in? Yeah, it's perfect. Whoa, oh, there we go. I'm not supposed to be able to reach the indicator, am I? <laughs> New brake lever going grease. on the bike. Grease, grease, grease. grease. Whoa, there we go. Yung, yung, yung. Yes. Look at that. <laughs> new bars and a new brake lever. Now it's time to put the handguards. So my handguards wouldn't fit without bar end extensions. We didn't have any, so Robert is actually machining some bar ends right now. Whoa, look at this. That's going on nicely, isn't it? Oh, that is amazing. They're both the same size-ish and size length-ish. Oh, wow, look at that. That is so cool. So we're trying to fit a bash plate to the bottom of my bike. And I read online on the forums that the bash plate for a Sinus Apache works on here. And it does work on here, actually. It is fitting to the frame. This part has to go like that. And then that is the bash plate on. Okay, so Robert has just fashioned us up some bolts. He's got a bolt for everything, I tell you. It's just this one. Mm -hmm. Perfect. That, uh, that's got no movement at all. Good. It feels pretty strong. Okay, so we have managed to get everything on the bikes, apart from the wing mirrors. So we're gonna fit those another time and I'll tell you more about those next time. So we managed to fit the new handguards to both bikes, managed to fit my lovely bash plate here at the end, put my new handlebars on with this amazing golden spacer. We managed to do Lavi's chain, sprockets, a whole service with oil filter, oil change, air filter and spark plug. So I think in one day we've done amazingly well. These bikes are looking absolutely amazing. I feel like we're getting ever closer to being ready to go on our next trip. Oh no, this is bad guys. Oh no, this is bad. I can feel the hesitation again. Really, really hesitating, getting a lot of jolts from the engine. Look at that, I can barely get any power up the hill. Oh. This issue is not resolved. <laughs> 